Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. So today I was gonna do a review on the new Pure Cosmetics Love Your Selfie 2 palette. So if you guys would like to stick around and see what my thoughts are and some swatches, then keep on watching. Okay guys, so I figured I'd come on here real quick right before I show you the palette that you guys will get to see and I thought I'd go ahead and do a quick shout out uh, for the shout out Saturday. It is Glamour Goddess with Angel. She is actually the one that came up with the whole shout out and also with the whole MAB, which MAB is Middle Aged Beauties and it's a group that like we're doing uh, a monthly giveaway and um, her and Bridget kind of like came together and uh, I guess got things in order. What I can tell you about Angel, I can tell you that she's one of our sweet southern beauties on here. Just love her accent. I love to hear any of my southern beauties out there. I just love hearing the accent. The first thing that really drew me to her when I first saw her was her eyes. Her eyes are so gorgeous. She has them real distinct blue eyes and not only that she has a personality to go with it all. She's a very sweet kind-hearted person and also I mean it's quite obvious too because she started this whole thing with Mab and the shout outs to kind of you know share the love. She's just like the rest of us who love our beauty products. She's a beauty junkie just like the rest of us. And so I'm going to put a link down below to Angel's channel and go and check her out. For the middle-aged beauties, I will put all of them down below so you can go and check out everybody that's in the group. So now Bridget's the next one, keeping it simple with Bridget. She is the next one that has the giveaway going on, which I believe is a $50 gift card to Sephora. And not only that, you could pick a lipstick, I believe on the Sephora site. I will put a link down below to hers. Go and check her channel out too. You also um, must be subscribed to everybody to be entered into the giveaway. Um, if you want to be a part of it and everything. So you can go ahead and um, check out all the information from Bridget and hear her details and everything. I wanted to tell everybody on my what I'm liking and not so much this past Wednesday. I did a collab with Lulu on beauty and I was so, I was so upset because like I didn't get to mention that in my video anywhere like later i put it up um you'll see like the word bubbles as they call it and what had happened was is lulu like i asked her you know hey do you want to join me and i thought it'd be fun to have a special guest here and there sometimes on my what what i'm liking and not so much and i think you know it'd be fun and everything and here she ended up in the hospital had to get some surgery and stuff and she was in there longer than what she expected even. So when she got home, it was like right a day or two before the video was going to be, you know, my video was going to be up. And I didn't want to bother her, you know, obviously and ask her if she, you know, because I didn't want to make it seem like all I cared about was the video. And I figured she'd just want to go ahead and get a rest and, you know, relax and take it easy and everything. And she proved me <laughs> wrong on that. She was such a trooper and she was like, hey, I have my link and oh my god, Lulu, I wish I would have, you know, like maybe asked you, but I didn't want to because I didn't want to feel like I was just, you know, like going to her saying, hey, what about the video, you know, when she just got home from the hospital and stuff. I didn't want her to think that because I'm not that kind of person who would do such a thing, you know, like just turn around and be like, you know, no, I would never be like that. So I felt so bad and I messaged her, quickly ran on my channel and started posting up and everything about her being in the club. I just figured, you know, she was going to chill out and relax and everything. And I figured we'll just discuss getting together for another one another time. So that's, that's what I had figured. So I'm going to put a link to her video for that down below. Please go check out Lulu. She is a wonderful lady. I have known her for a very long time now. 
here on YouTube, so please go and check her out. All right, beauties, let's go on to the video and the palette and swatches. So here is the box. It's a box. It's a really pretty packaging. It has like uh, some glitter here going on, some bling bling. <laughs> And it is, um, it is made of cardboard, but it's pretty, it feels pretty, pretty good cardboard, pretty durable to me. Um, and then it does have the closure, you know, the um, magnetic closure that a lot of people like. So it does have that, which I'm going to slip my little, I do keep these, these little, it has Embrace Your Beauty inside and out, which I like that. So that's, that's what I like. I like that they have these great quotes and different things on their products. But I do keep these to protect my products. You probably have to lean this up against something to keep it up when you're applying your makeup and everything. Um, but I like that it does open up widely because then you can adjust it in whichever way. So I, I really like that. And it's a nice big mirror too. So And then in here you do get eight, eight shadows. There's eight shadows. And then you get like a highlight, a blush, and then a bronzer contour product. You do get my favorite mascara that I've been telling you guys. You do get a little mini fully charged uh, mascara in there and I love that mascara. You do get this um, lip, what is it, a velvet matte lip pencil uh, focal point. Not sure what color it's in. A focal point is the coloring. It's a nice big fat pencil for the lips so lip liner color in your lips and everything and then you get one of their lip glosses this is the pure lip gloss silhouette i'm guessing the shade might be silhouette i'm not quite sure and there's their doe foot applicators one of them longer kind of doe foot applicators which i really really like these kind here is the top row of the eyeshadows and we're going to go ahead and swatch them so the first one is called headshot which Headshot is uh, the off-white color, and I did use that all on my eyelid. Headshot. Um, the next color is um, Status Quay. Is that how you say it? Status Quay, I'm not honestly really sure. And that is more like of a light brown taupey shade that you can use for your transition uh, kind of shade. I did have a little, I'll be honest, I did have a little hard time for my transition because it is close to my um, skin color, so you're probably not even going to be able to barely see it. That one I did have a problem with. It didn't seem to work too well for me, I'll be honest. The next one is Pan Panorama, and it's kind of a darky, a darky, dark chocolate color and it does have shimmer so you do have a couple mattes in here and you do have some shimmer uh, ones really pretty color right there it is panorama that I did work along in my crease a little bit uh, for my eye look and then last one on that one is abstract it's kind of a pretty that taupey color real pretty taupe color there it is more of a darky taupe. Darky. Where am I coming up with these words? I don't know. <laughs> but there it is there. Really pretty. All right. The next shades um, is Pose. This color here is called Pose. Sadly, my camera is probably not picking up, or maybe I'll see later it did. Pose is a uh, more light, very pale light, a light pink. So that's Pose. Next one caught my eye. My eye went right to these next two colors. Boom. <laughs> like my eyes just went right to them. And it's called Sketch. This color here, Sketch. And it is that gorgeous burgundy color. Now it's more of a shimmer. It almost looks um, copper, copper, copper burgundy. It is, it's very unique. I don't know. And I also worked that in the outer part. My eyes just went right to it. <laughs> it did. That's really pretty. Love that. That is such a pretty color. And then this next one. Ooh, I was so, it, it, yeah. Uh, this is called Mega Pixel. It looks like it has a few little glitter specks in it, 
but I didn't have any fallout because I did put this, that's what's on my lids, eyelids itself, in with the other two darker colors. The other ones feel more creamy. This one does feel a little more rough, a little rough, but it looks like that old gold, as they call it. Is that what they call that? And it's really pretty, really, really pretty color. And that worked really nice on my eyelids. Um, and then the next one, it's another one that has the glitter sparks in it, paparazzi. And it, to me, it feels a little more buddier, buddier. Yeah, buddier. It feels a little more buddier. It's a buddy of mine. Did you know that? <laughs> it's buddier. Okay, so seriously, <laughs> paparazzi, uh, to me, in the pan, it looked... And it's still kind of, it looks, uh, like here it probably looks black, but in person, it looks like it has grayish olive coloring going on. That's what it looks like to me in person. But on camera, it seems, and this is crazy. Why don't you see that? Like that is pretty, pretty intense there. For sure. All right, the next thing we're going to go down below here is overexposed. It's kind of like a highlight, but it's not a shiny shimmer to it. It is just a little, a little, um, very, very faint, like sheen, as I call it, very faint, but it is a nice highlight. The next one, this is so pretty. It's called Phot Photogenic, this here. And now for on darker skin tones, it might work better for as a highlight. It is supposed to be a blush in here, I believe. And it worked fine for me, but I am more fair complected, so it's going to work fine. But more darker skin tones, the olive skin tones and darker or anything like that, I don't know. You might have to use it more as a highlight. But it's this beautiful, beautiful, like, peach, very, as you can see, light peach shade. That has, as you can see, the shimmer glow to it. So if you wanted to use that as a highlight, yeah. But I did put it on as a blush and then topped with the this one here. The last one is called Composition, and it's more like a bronzer contour. And it's a good shade for me. Good shade for me. Not flipping you guys off if it looks like it. I do apologize if it does. There it is right there. If my lighting keeps going wonky, I'm apologizing for that because it looks like it's got a storm here. So I have showed you guys my fully charged mascara. I'll put a link down below uh, on the review of that if you guys want to hear a little bit more about the fully charged mascara. This here, the lip pencil, it feels very creamy. It didn't seem to, and that's the color I have on. It's a really pretty color. Very buttery very very nice it does look matte there's the color there really pretty i like these i probably would get more of these i like them they're very smooth they're the kind of matte that i could handle to be honest with you like if i just put this on my lips and nothing else no lip gloss i probably could handle that and then their lip gloss if you don't like sticky lip glosses this, these are awesome. I do have to say they have really good uh, lip glosses. I'm not sure if this is the color Silhouette. It has lip gloss Silhouette, so I'm guessing that might be the shade. But it's the color for these are kind of maybe the pinky brown, mauve shade or whatever. Um, but here is the lip gloss. And the pigmentation and payoffs really good too right there. So, yes. And like I said, that is what I have on my lips right now. Beautiful. Really nice. Yes, I believe that's it. So, all right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Pure Cosmetics, for sending me these. Oh, I was so happy. I love to play with makeup. I mean, who don't? We all love to play with makeup. That's the fun part of it. And I always say makeup is an art. But don't let anybody ever tell you how to create your art. If you guys did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I appreciate that so much. And um, if you are not subscribed to my channel, you can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and you can join me each week. As always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you guys take care. 
I will see you then. Love you. Bye.